Welcome to my doghouse. Another great episode today. I'm going to kind of talk about something I've already talked to, but it needs reinforced. I want to go out and personally thank some people out there that are really, really good people that have sacrificed their time and part of their lives to help somebody in need. That little girl in Otter Creek and their and her parents, whether you like the parents or not, that little child needs the help of everyone. These people have gone out of their way to make sure this happens. Bruce, he didn't need to go out there and fight for Lynette. Because he's taken money out of his own pocket virtually to do this. He didn't do that. He's sacrificing income to do something that's right. And anybody out there that criticizes his wife is a big jerk. Because that's pathetic and uncalled for. When a guy gives his time and efforts to help somebody that does not include money you don't attack the family that's just ignorance on your part this guy needs praised and thanked all the time for what he done or is doing without people like him sometimes right would not be corrected you may not like the guy, I do, but you may not like the guy, but respect him for what he is doing to help somebody he believes needs help. And I believe she needs help too, but you can't go after his family. That's ignorance to the fullest because you don't believe in him. And some other days you just hate and don't want to do anything but hate. So you'll go after a person not even involved. Shame on you. Two leaves in a pod is... Tori and them has put out stuff and research stuff. They don't need to do that. They can walk away. They're a little channel. It don't matter. But they don't. They're doing it for the right purpose. And that right purpose is a little girl. And thank you too for what you are doing. Standing up to evil to accomplish something that should be accomplished. It's something that little girl will enjoy the rest of her life. That regardless of what evil people do around her that the good will always stand out and above. And that's thanks to you guys. Every thank you in the world needs to go out to you for the things you've done for her. And the people that have contributed, I'll never know any of you more than likely, but I tell you, the people that contributed money and it's going to contribute time, thank you. I'm not in no position to do that, unfortunately. I 100% guarantee if I lived down there and close by, I would be there to help. I would be there to make sure that girl is taken care of. Yes, the mother's going to take care of her. But sometimes that little extra thank you, that gift, will make the world for her. And we must not take that away from her. I think Milltown's best. He's a great guy. He really is. Younger than a couple of us. But his knowledge... And the crap he has gone through 
and still standing up and it's willing to stand up that deserves a lot of kudos and love for a guy that knows what he wants and he's going to fight for it regardless of how much you guys go in and slap him down he is still going to be there thank you Dave Ray Bonecrusher probably one of the best guys on here as far as knowledge goes anybody that goes after him is just haters and living in the world of discontent this guy is very knowledgeable and does very good things smart man smart results follow yes Dave him and two Lees get so much crap they get a whole lot more than I do and I get some but the ignorance of people when somebody wants to do something right you're willing to sacrifice them for your own ignorance and it is ignorance we are here to help people we're not here to hinder people you're, we're here to give a helping hand to those that need help. Don't think that these people are not doing good. Whether you listen to their channel or not is not important. These guys, well it is to them obviously, but these guys have put time and effort into a bad situation to make it better. Yes, every one of them needs a thank you and a kudos. Without people like that, our world is a harder place to live. Yeah, we've all been in a rock and a hard spot at times and had to come out of it. But as a general rule, there's somebody around helping. And that's why I wish I was there to help. But I know I can't be. That's fine. My heart is there with them. When they go build that fence. My heart is with Harley now. I want the best for that family. I want the bullying to stop. But I know it's not going to. But when you love people. Love is more important, and sacrificing to give somebody that love is the greatest feeling on earth. Because we got to remember who we are and why we are here. When we step up to the plate to help others, we're doing the best thing in the world we can do. It makes us feel good. It makes us know we're doing something worthwhile. And these people need all the help in the world. And I mean, not necessarily with the fence and that, or anything like that. The, all the help in the world is to give them thanks. If you can help, you can help. But with that thanks, that heart of gold shines forever. God will bless everyone involved here. To help out somebody in need. And like I've said. I, I'm really not that religious of a person. I did grow up in a Christian home. But regardless of that. If you don't do actions at times. You gain nothing in life. You can say. Well I want to do this. And you have the opportunity to do this or help this person and you do not then was just words but when you can only do it by your heart because of different situations that is still one of the greatest gifts you can give that family a thank you and a prayer never give up on them Never give up on these people that are out there making the world a better place. Thank you, Bruce, for giving your time. Thank you, Lee, for giving your time. Dave, thank you for giving your time. 
and doing everything you can to help. And Ray, thank you for your time and giving your expertise and your knowledge to the people involved here. The haters will hate, but the people that love will love.